Carrefour, this is Dispatch. We're getting numerous calls describing a wild animal threatening a school bus at the corner of Juniper and Hemlock. That was just outside of town, in a small sub-community called Claremont, only about four kilometers from his current location. Roger. John acknowledged. Bear au moose. Just for a moment, he wondered if another one of those weird wolf things had escaped the feds. Jean's eyebrows knitted together as he waited. Too long for the dispatcher's response. Carrefour, neither. The calls are claiming they're some sort of dragon? Jean swung around a dump truck and then ran through a red light where the traffic had stopped. He keyed the mic again. Dispatch, say again, what type of animal? A dragon? The callers are describing a giant lizard of some type? Five days ago, they had found the wrecked remains of a car on the highway. It had caught on fire and burned, and the driver, a 36-year-old woman, was missing. He remembered thinking that the roof of the car had looked as though it had been peeled back, but at the time had discarded that idea as crazy. Now, Jean wasn't so sure. Maybe some idiot had brought a wild animal, a tiger or a Komodo dragon or something like that, up north. Could an animal even do that to a car? Jean stepped on the gas. Karina's voice came over the radio again, clearly desperate this time. Please, dispatch, I need help. Send everyone. Send SWAT. It's gonna kill a bunch of kids. The tires of his patrol car screeched as he pulled off the Alaska Highway and onto a side road. He was almost there. Moments later, he was into a residential area, roaring past stop signs and praying he wouldn't run into some kid playing in the street. His pulse raced. His heart pounded beneath his vest. Just ahead, he saw a fire truck stopped at an intersection, its lights flashing. Karina's patrol car was there as well. Black clouds of smoke rose from a burning car, obscuring the scene. A yellow school bus had driven off the road, right into the side of a house. He saw the terrified faces of children inside it. A man was slumped over the wheel. His tire skidded as he screeched to a halt beside Karina's car. As he was stepping out of his patrol car, he saw it. Austin, Chris, he whispered. His palm rested against the handle of his service automatic in its holster. It wasn't a Komodo dragon. It was a real dragon. Twice the size of an elephant, it stalked about on eight legs. Foot-long spikes ran down its back, giving it an otherworldly appearance. It was covered in overlapping scales of dark green, each the size of his hand. Its long, thick tail whipped back and forth as it paced alongside the crashed school bus. Without warning, it shrieked in fury, a stuttering alien cry, and smashed its massive horned head, the size of a fridge against the school bus's frame, shattering windows and rocking the bus. The children screamed. This is impossible.